Welcome to Joey's Tech. You are going to learn about decorators chaining in Python in this video. I have already created a video on the basics of decorators in Python and you must check it out if you are not familiar with decorators. You can watch it by clicking on the i button or by clicking on the link in the description box of this video. Now let's check out what decorators chaining means. A decorator extends a function's functionality without permanently modifying its functionality. I have already spoken about it in my basics of decorators video. Now, more than one decorator can be applied to a function. And this is what is known as chaining decorators in Python. You can also call it as nested decorators. You are going to learn in a while why decorators chaining can also be termed as nesting of decorators. But why we do decorators chaining? So the answer is that different functionalities that need to be logically separated can be implemented in multiple decorators. Thus, these decorators can be applied in any desired order to a function. So we do it for little bit of categorization to bring a little bit of modularity in the code. I'll move to PyCharm now where I'll code a program explaining chaining decorators. But before that, I request you to subscribe to my channel Joystick and hit the bell icon because that way you won't miss out on any of the videos I make, which can help you grow in Python exponentially. I also highly recommend you follow along with me because that way you'll be able to learn this concept better. Let's move to PyCharm now. This is my PyCharm ID where I have created this file in which I'm going to code the program. And I hope that you are coding along with me. So first you will write a simple function, which will be def and I'm going to name it simple function that is going to accept the parameter my message and it's going to simply print that parameter. So this is very much self-explanatory. Now you will create two decorators. One decorator is going to print the star symbol twice and the other decorator is going to print the star symbol thrice in a special way. So let's write the decorators together. So I'll write my first decorator. I'll call it star twice. It's going to accept a function as its parameter within which I'm going to write the inner function. And as its parameters, I'm going to write star ARGS star star kw args colon now i'm going to write a line of code that is going to print the star symbol twice and then i'm going to write a line of code that is going to execute the function finally i am going to again print the star symbol twice so i'm a big fan of copy and paste i'll put it over here and finally i'll return the inner function. Now I'm going to copy and paste this star twice decorator over here because my other decorator is going to be pretty much the same. So I'll name it star thrice. However, it is going to accept a function. There will be an inner function, but this time I'm going to print the star symbol thrice, not twice. And I'll do the same thing in this statement over here. You can see that the two decorators have been coded. An important thing to note is that the star twice decorator is printing the symbol, the star symbol twice before and after executing the function passed to the decorator. Similarly, the star thrice decorator is printing the star symbol thrice before and after executing the function pass to the decorator. Now let's chain these decorators. For that, you will first create the main function. So I am going to simply type main over here and let PyCharm do the work for me. Then you are going to call the simple function inside this main function. So I'll write simple function and uh, pass a string to it. I choose to pass Python is the best to this function. Finally, you will write the decorator syntax. So on top of the simple function, you will add the decorator star thrice. And on top of it, on top of star thrice, 
you are going to add star twice so there you go we have added both the decorators to this ordinary function which is simple underscore function now let's predict how the output will look like you see the decorator star twice is on the top so the execution will go in this decorator star twice and it will print the star symbol twice as a part of this line of code so let me write it over here within comments i'll write hash and then i'll print star symbol twice now the next line is the execution of the function pass to this decorator but to this decorator our ordinary function which is simple underscore function is not passed alone it is now passed with a decorator on the top and that decorator is a star thrice so from this line the execution will move to this decorator star thrice in which this line of code will be executed first so the star symbol is going to be printed thrice like this the execution will now move to the next line and this time it is going to execute simple underscore function so now it's going to print the string pass to it so i am passing the string python is the best so next it is going to print this string python is the best from here the execution is going to move to the next line and star symbol is going to be printed thrice as a part of this line of code so next star symbol is going to be printed thrice and finally the control will move to the final line of the star twice decorator and the star symbol will now be printed twice this is the expected output that this program is supposed to give this is what chaining of decorators is and i hope you must have understood why this is also referred to as nesting of decorators i have used to just uh, two decorators in this decorators chaining example but you can use three four or as many decorators as you want now let's see the output produced by this program so i am going to click on the play button over here okay there is an error it says simple function missing one required positional argument my message so it's my bad i haven't given the arguments over here so i will have to put arcs and quarks in the bracket of this function as well so now i'm going to run it again let's see what output it gives there you go you can see the actual output matches the expected output this decorator syntax this chaining of decorator syntax can also be written in another way let's see that as well so i can write this as simple underscore function equals to star twice within brackets star thrice and within its bracket i am going to pass simple underscore function let's come into this out and check if it also gives the correct output i'm going to click on the play button there you go it gives the same output i'm sure that this syntax is visually making more sense to the order of execution i described a moment ago with this we have come to the end of this video i hope you enjoyed watching this video to let me know in case of any doubts you have regarding this concept until the next video goodbye and take very good care of yourself